in the footsteps of Jabez. First Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 and 10. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Verse 10 says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel. He called on who? The God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand may be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. When you check the story of Jabez, his story is very brief, but his legacy endures. Very brief. Now, that name, Jabez, appears four times in the Bible. Just four times. And out of the four times, two appeared in one verse, which is verse 9. Verse 10, the name appeared once. And in chapter 2, verse 55, the name appeared once as a habitation, a dwelling place. Chapter 2, verse 55. And the families of the scribes, which dwelt at where? Which dwell at Jabez. It means this man had a city. He had a place where people could dwell. Who was Jabez? Now, you check the tribe, chapter 4, verse 1. You see it. He was from the tribe of Judah. The sons of Judah. The sons of Judah. So, he had a lineage which we are all from. From the tribe of Judah. Yet, things weren't working. That's to say, you can be a believer, yet things are not working. Two, you can be chosen by God and yet you are experiencing tough situations, rough situations. The tide is rough. Being born again doesn't exempt you from the storms of life. It only gives you an edge over it. He that overcometh, he that overcometh, what are you overcoming? Storms, challenges, trials. Many people think that being born again is bed of roses. Being born again, you are welcome into the life of enforcement of victory is a fight fight the good fight of faith that's christianity three jabez was a human being like you and i whose parents had a rough background that your background is rough poor bad it doesn't mean that your story cannot change that was jabez now you must understand this the reason why jabez fought this fight was because of the situation he was facing his mother called him what sorrow pain there's a mystery about a name one a name describes your greatness your name defines your greatness he says genesis chapter 12 verse 2 i will make thy name great i will make thy name great when god wants to make you great he empowers your name he has given us a name that is above every other name. He gave him the name. That at the mention of that name, there are names you mention, you know that these names are no more individuals. They are nations, they are institutions. Number two, the mystery of a name. It defines destiny. Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. It defines destiny. The name you answer defines destiny. His name shall be called Emmanuel. God with us. The name you are answering, what has it got to do with your destiny? Number three, it defines future. Isaiah chapter 7, verses 14 and 15. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name what? Emmanuel. This is prophecy of like 500 years before Christ came. Butter and honey shall he eat that he may know how to refuse the evil and choose the good. Number four, it defines character. Name defines character. First Samuel chapter 25, verse 25. As his name is, so is he. Fully, foolishness is with him. Just as his name. What is his name? 
Let not my Lord, I pray thee, regard this man of Belial. Wow. Even Nabal, for as his name is, so is he. Nabal is his name. And folly is with him. That's foolishness. Have you seen it now? Power in the name. Every name you carry carries what describes a character. A name also defines the anointing that operates in your life. I didn't write it down. It just came into my spirit. Songs of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. His name shall be as ointment poured forth. Because of the servo of thy good ointment, thy name is as ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. That's the mystery. When you are anointed, the name you carry defines your anointing, the anointing on you. My name is Michael. So when you see me do warfare, 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 don't blame me. That's the, honestly, that's the truth. That's the truth. So it is practically impossible for me to be defeated in any battle because angel Michael cannot be defeated in any battle. You answer David, you should know the meaning, the anointing in that name, David. You answer Daniel, you should know the anointing in that name. You face attack. You, you go through lions then. Lions then is not just a physical lion. They carry you. Mm -mm, that era of physical lion has passed. There are lionic people you face. Strong man, strong woman, oppositions, tough things. They will gang up against you. Are you answering Joseph? You go through the pit. You go through slavery. You go through the prison. Because you are a star that others must bow to in your family. It's not your fault. Uh, when they carry name and give to you, they should also know. They call you Peter. You should know. You ask yourself, <laughs> what is in your name? That's the question you should ask yourself. When you carry a name, what is in that name? Find out. Don't just answer a name because they gave you the name. I made findings one time, one of the names of my siblings. When they told us, I asked, it was my grandmother who answers that name. Grandma, what is the meaning? He said, the name means the face of an idol. My dad knew it, so each time we ask him, my dad wouldn't tell us. <laughs> each time we ask him, my dad wouldn't tell us. One day I told him in the village, I said, let me go and ask your mother. <laughs> so I went, I said, Mama, what is your name? What is the meaning? I want to know it. Say you want to know it. Have you asked your father? I say he has refused to tell us. So he called him, Daniel, why have you not told them? <laughs> he didn't answer. So I said, Mama, no need of sending me. Uh, what is the name? My brother and I, the one in Portacot. We asked her. That's when she told us the meaning of the name. So when you answer a name, you should also expect the anointing on that name to speak. So one, I said it defines greatness. Two, destiny. Three, future. Four, character. Five, anointing. Now the footsteps of Jabez. Let's go. The footsteps. What were the footsteps that Jabez took? I said it that his story is very brief, but his legacy is eternal. It endures forever. One, Jabez had the knowledge of God. Knowledge of God. The Bible says in Daniel 11, 32, they that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit he had the knowledge of god he had the knowledge that base knew god that's why i said in that word and jabez called on the god of israel he called on the god of israel listen he understood certain things there are certain names you call you see instant answers now jabez had the knowledge of who god is he knew God, one, that calling him the God of Israel means that, one, he is a father. So he knew God as a father. Two, he knew God as a covenant-keeping God. Anytime you call that name, anytime you call God of Israel, thou Lord God of Israel, what are you doing? You are invoking the covenant-keeping God. It's a mystery. When you call on the God of Israel, he can't fail you. He must answer. It's automatic. When David faced Goliath, what did he use? That's what he used. He said, how can he defy the Lord God of Israel? That was what he used. So, check. Do you know God to that point? Many believers know the God their pastors explain to them. Many know their pastors 
that others explain to them do you have an encounter with god that you too you can describe god to somebody have you gotten an encounter how do you know this god do you know him like the lord of hosts jehovah shama jehovah nisi the i am that i am how do you know him jehovah roy how do you know this god that best knew him that is a father and he can't turn him down many people only know god as god they don't know that god is a father a man sang a song now uh, was it a man i be a young lady and my daddy my daddy your baby is singing i will be singing and shouting and dancing for the rest of eternity my daddy my father do you know god as father how do you know him Ima, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. your name be praised your name be praised when we call in your name you are right with enemies Emmanuel. when you call him he will answer jabez knew that he's a father he's a loving father he's a caring father he's a forgiving father he's a merciful father he's a kind father he knew god that god is the only true and genuine source of help and supply that's how i knew him if you never knew god go and know him praise the lord if they ask you I, I don't need anybody to define god to me because i'm still exploring him there are areas i know him when you know him as your healer you can't be sick now he will heal you when you know him as your supplier he will supply all your needs when you know him as your defense he will defend you how do you know him in the footsteps of jabez number two footsteps he had the knowledge of god's word he knew god's word he knew that the four prayer points were word based and he knew the potency the power in the word of god he knew god's word as one god's will two god's prophecy three god's promises so the prayer points he prayed we are all the prophecies of God for Israel. The promises of God for Israel. The will of God for Israel. What you pray to God. Are they word based? Are they God's promises? Are they God's prophecies? Are they God's will for your life? That's the question you ask yourself. Each time you want to go before God in prayer. What do you do? Let it be word based. That's why God said produce your cause bring forth your strong reason produce your cause not produce your tears not produce your murmuring no not produce your age lord you know i'm 50 i have not gotten any job i'm 60 years is there anything written like that in the word of god before you pray to god search the word so that when you hit it you can't miss the target he knew the infallibility of god's word he knew the legality of god's word he knew that god's word is his constitution is his law isaiah 55 verses 9 through 11 he knew that the word of god cannot return to him void without accomplishing that which it has been sent for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as the rain cometh down and snow from heaven and returneth thither not thither but watereth the earth and make it bring forth and board that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void whatsoever has spoken won't return to me it's meant to happen but it's your place to make it happen but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing we are to i sent it have you seen it now so when you pray the word of god you have set a target that's why he said i have exalted my uh, word above my name 138 psalm 138 verse 2 i've exalted my name i've magnified my name i have honored my name i've lifted my name above 
uh, my word above my name i will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth for thou hast magnified thy word above what all thy name jehovah rafa jehovah nisi jehovah el shaddai name them as many as you want to name i am that i am all of them gather together you have exalted thy word so the word of god is the highest when you place the word before him you put him on a check you put him in a tight corner that he can escape praise the lord in the footsteps of jabez footstep three he had the knowledge of his identity jabez understood himself he knew himself many people don't know themselves jabez knew his background he knew where he was coming from he knew his situation do you know yourself do you know your family background because without knowing what he was going through why he was going through it he wouldn't have taken that step why many people are relaxed is because one they don't know the source of their problem jabez knew the source of his problem that it was his mother that pecked him under a curse many people don't know he knew himself so to walk in the footsteps of jabez know the source of your challenge two jabez knew his family background he knew that i need to do something because when you check that first chronicles chapter 4 we only heard of jabez in verses 9 and 10 now when you check verse 3 verse 3 of it and this were of the father of etam jezreel and ishma now ishma there means desolation desolation a desolated place a desert a desert, deserted place and ishbash it bash it bash here means what the hand of shame can you hear names the hand of shame now you go further to verse 4 and penuel the father of gedor gedor there means caged means what caged caged now you go to verse 5 and Asher, the father of Tekoa, Asher there means darkness. Asher means darkness. Now you check the same uh, Tekoa had two wives. Hela. Hela means dustbin. It means dustbin. <laughs> uh -huh. Now go to verse 8. And cause begat Anno and Zobeba. Now, what's the meaning of Zobeba? Go slow any name you've been given that is affecting your future i cancel it so after zobeba goes low when you check the next one the families of ahahel the son of haram the same verse eight it means behind or last haram last behind i relocate you from behind to the forefront so when you now come to jabez verse 9 now brings in jabez and jabez so what is jabez suru so jabez understood his family background do you know the family you are coming from matana patana you are married do you know the family you are married into do you know the family you've entered many don't understand it so the problem persists praise the lord jabez understood that his future was stronger than his past and his present you understood that that his future was stronger weightier better than his past and his present situation what else in the footsteps of jabez number four he had a great vision expectation and determination he had a great vision expectation and determination he was determined that his story must change he refused to give up he had a great expectation that's why i could be telling god to give him those four things uh, you are standing before god you are telling him to give you those four things at the same time he had great expectation what is your expectation 
if you meet god now as you are going to pray what will you ask god for house rent uh, according to prof <laughs> The, the time you used to ask God for house rent, you can ask Him for a house, which is the truth. What are you asking Him? Is it close to where? Children's school fees. What are you asking God? How great is your vision? How great is your expectation? How great is your determination? The future you don't see, you can't pursue because there won't be any determination. Pursuit is provoked by determination which is teared up by the future you see what have you seen have you seen anything good about your life there are people that will say i know that there's nothing good about my life what else there are people that have written off themselves after all at this age what can what can become of me let me just survive well anytime death comes let death carry me many have given up hope they didn't tell us the age of jabez they didn't tell us how long the prayer lasted an answer came but all we know is that jabez was a human being like you and i all we know is that jabez was born of a man and a woman and god answered how strong is your vision when you have a strong vision listen oh, no matter what is happening now you won't be afraid oh. they used to sing now some times in our lives we all have friends we all have sorrow we all have sorrows we have griefs the rich man and the poor man the common denominator common factor between the rich and the poor the white and the black is what problems <laughs> the rich has problem the poor has problem the black has problem the white has problem if you are not aware be aware don't think that you are the only person that has a challenge if the governor tells you his challenge you won't believe it if the president tells you his challenge you won't believe it if bill gates that you are believing god for to be the one of the richest people when they tell you their challenges you won't believe it everyone faces challenges is the common denominator but let your future consume you jabez understood the vision of god for his life he knew in his knowing that god had something better for him that this is not my portion it's only a condition many people have mistaken their condition for their portion so they are settled on the lease many believe why well, i can't go to school i can a man started going to school at the age of 50 at what age 50 by 56 he became a lawyer because he had told himself that he has been telling himself that he will be a lawyer one day something steered him up at 50 age 50 there is one of these men now that graduated at 76 open university you didn't see it two years ago a man graduated at the age of 76 determination 76 don't give up on yourself keep seeing your future they used to sing colorful very bright i must get there colorful and is bright i must get there my future is bright i must get there my future is bright i must get there your future is too bright for you to give up on yourself people commit suicide because they don't know their future they are blinded one small challenge shouldn't make you give up don't throw in the towel no praise the lord say i won't give up mm -hmm. say i won't give up in the footsteps of jabez number five he had strong and unshakable faith strong and unshakable faith romans chapter 4 verses 19 20 and 21 and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb he staggered not unshakable at the promise of god through unbelief but was strong in faith 
giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to what? To perform. Praise the Lord. He didn't shake. He didn't panic. He was convinced beyond all reasonable doubt that God will change his story. He was convinced on all sides that God can change his story. He had faith in God. He had faith in the word of God. He had faith in himself. I told us the other time the four dimensional prayer, uh, uh, dimensional uh, 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 faith. Faith in God. Faith in his word. Faith in his prophet. Faith in yourself. Because no matter how they prophesy to you, you must believe in yourself. Many people don't believe in themselves. When they speak to you, there are people you see you, 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 you are even shocked why they are where they are you try to move them to where they are Gideon, thou great man mighty man of valor he said me don't, please, don't flatter me don't deceive me many are on that path they don't believe, they don't see anything good in themselves praise the Lord you won't see shame in the name of jesus christ he was strong in faith he refused to shake listen no, no matter the situation you are going through don't panic are you hearing me don't panic god is a way maker he said i'm the way the truth and the life a man that can bring out water from the rock create a way in the wilderness bring water out of desert won't you fear that god let your faith be strong in god uh, your faith can only be strong rooted in god when you know who god is knowing the ability of god the capacity of god the willingness of god the mercies of god the faithfulness you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to disappoint me you've proven yourself in my life and i've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me listen oh god is too faithful to fail you when you get to a crossroad and you know not what to do go on your knees you take that song and you begin to sing you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to disappoint me why the word of god says faithful is he that collects you and what will happen he also will do it when you get to a crossroad and you know not what else second chronicles chapter 20 he says for our eyes are on you we know not what else to do but we look up to you look up to him let your faith be in him not in man jabez knew that man is limited jabez never played a blame game is it not my mother that made me to be in this condition many of you dwell on the problems instead of the solution dwell on the solution and the solution is only in god the lasting solution the sure solution is only in god look up to him praise the lord so you should have that strong faith that God is too faithful to fail. He's a merciful father. He can bring you out of the mess. There is no mess that God can cleanse you from. None. He's the potter. No matter how broken you are as a clay, he can remold you back. That's not what man can do. No man can do it. Praise the Lord. What else in the footsteps of Jabez? Number six. He understood the unlimited power of prayer. He understood the unlimited power of prayer. He knew the mystery of Je Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. He knew the mystery of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundant 
above all that we ask or think according to the power that worked in us I, normally i don't like it in king james version i prefer the amplified version give me the amplified version the amplified version makes it but can you see this now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us is able to carry out his purpose and do how super abundantly <laughs> far over two and above all that's three that we dare ask or think ask there is prayer think is meditation infinitely beyond our what highest prayers desires thoughts hopes or dreams you can imagine that Jabez understood this that God can exceed his expectations God is not in short supply even if the whole world ask him for the same thing the whole world asking him God can distribute one one trillion to every human being on earth it's not in short supplies okay let me ask you a question since you started eating fish why has fishes not been exhausted since you started you know how many cows they kill per day sea chicken how many they've killed yet you know how many sand they've been removing from the sea yet people are still building so how come Th that's what you should ask yourself all the trees they've been falling they've been falling trees cutting down trees why is it that the trees are not exhausted in the forest that's to say god is inexhaustible totally inexhaustible you can't exhaust him when you cook for him he can finish it but when he cooks even for the whole world the whole world will not be able to finish it because the one he has already cooked we've not finished it <laughs> not the one he has cooked have we finished it we've not finished it so when he cooks for you you won't yeah you can they say when one man cooks for a community they will finish it but but when the community cooks for the man can he finish it <laughs> no 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 matter no matter your capacity to eat let all of us cook for you if you finish it <laughs> Let, let all of I, I i saw a, a a drinking competition they say this one is a chairman of the tumbo drinking uh, this thing association so this one is a uh, what do they call him <laughs> okun kalaba <laughs> so i didn't know whether it's the one of okun kalaba eku <laughs> gota now they started drinking they kept i think about five five uh, this thing for them bottles <laughs> who finishes first takes ten thousand naira <laughs> they started drinking the chairman <laughs> i can't even i can't even worry for if you <laughs> so he was drinking the thing gulping it strategically this one too was drinking <laughs> at a point in time <laughs> oh good calabas stood up <laughs> <laughs> this is what he was doing. <laughs> he started throwing up. Wow. He fell down. <laughs> Fire started. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now imagine God cooking for you. When God gives you the ocean to drink, since we started fetching water, as water has been exhausted. Praise the Lord. God is inexhaustible. Jabez knew that on the prayer altar, you can move God you can move the hand of god say they normally say that when you pray god sends angel when you praise god comes himself who, who is teaching those demonic things those those are those are heresies those heretic call upon me and i will answer the reason i will delegate an angel call upon me and i will answer i can come as an angel to you but i'm the one giving you the answer when jabez prayed here he said and god answered did he say angel he sent an angel when you are when you are saying certain things also check the scripture you should balance it 
in prayer god can send an angel in praise god can send an angel in prayer god can come himself in praise god can come himself god you can't predict god the bible says his ways are past finding out how unsearchable are his ways i think it should be romans 15 33 or so check romans chapter 15 verse 33 his ways are past finding out you can't predict god don't expect god to follow the way you preach no 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 he won't praise the lord romans chapter 8 uh, chapter 15 check romans 15 33 let me see you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to disappoint me you've proven yourself in my life and i've come to realize 11 is 11 11 33 that's why you two in the studio you must be scripturally loaded mm. 11 33 11 33 not 11 verse 1 please 11 33 romans 11 33 let's go to um, king james first oh the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of god how unsearchable are his judgment and his ways past what past finding out uh -huh. give me amplified now oh the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of god how unfathomable inscrutable unsearchable are his judgment his decisions and how untraceable mysterious undiscoverable are his ways his methods his paths on the prayer altar jabez knew that on the prayer altar you can turn a curse into blessing on the prayer altar jabez knew that he can change his negative family pattern all those people bearing those evil names that they also gave him he knew that on the prayer altar what is your family background if you persist on the altar of prayer you will get an answer i'm not talking about hit and run prayer you pray until they didn't tell us when the prayers were answered if it was at the same time the same day or it took time but all we know is that what happened he got an answer the mystery of prayer is this never you stop praying until you get your answer that's the mystery of prayer but a lot of us including myself that's why i see a lot of us most of us we pray when after some time in fact the moment we begin to see small cloud changing we calm down the rain has not started falling just seeing that the cloud is already changing we are relaxed you pray like elijah until the rain begins he prayed it you press jabez was persistent on the prayer altar we're about to take few prayers praise the lord you've seen the footsteps that jabez followed one he had the knowledge of god two knowledge of god's word three knowledge of himself his identity four he had great vision expectation and determination five he had strong and unshakable faith six he understood the unlimited power of prayer this is the footsteps of jabez when you follow these footsteps you must get an answer we are about to pray what is your own he asked four things he knew god as his father so he knew that the god he serves is a big god and he does big big things that's why he asked god for a very big thing he asked god god gave him a city what do you have him do for you <laughs>